It's a really good experience getting feedback. So far, I have only had positive feedback, which came as a bit of a surprise. I thought it would be um, the whole range from very happy to perhaps not very happy. But it's really lovely to know that what you're doing um, is something that patients appreciate and that uh, they feel that I've listened to them and they feel that I've heard their concerns and have uh, given them the information they need. And when you check on uh, the website and see that there's a new piece of feedback, it gives you this little lift and boost in the morning. So it's really great. Uh, and it's also great to know that um, it's out there and that other patients can see it. I do it because I think it makes me a better doctor and I think it means I provide better care to patients. I ask every single patient uh, for feedback so I know in advance that I'm going to be asking for feedback at the end of every interaction so I think that makes you think a little bit more carefully about treating each patient as an individual, um, as somebody who has a family who care about them um, and, as a, and as their own person. So and I think um, and I do it because it's the right thing to do. I, I think it's right that patients get to, to give feedback and it makes healthcare more transparent and more open. I would recommend it to everybody, to not just doctors, I'd recommend it to nurses, physios or allied health professionals. Um, I think that as a trainee, um, it's great because it's the only way of getting feedback at the moment from patients if you're not a an independent practitioner, uh, but I think we can all, we would all do better if we asked for feedback from our patients.